my new Challenger in the garage. This is the Challenger Super Stock. Um, just got my license plates in. And uh, I wanted to go down to my local UPS or FedEx, Kinko, whatever type of store and get this laminated just so that I always have the uh, price that I paid for the vehicle, the sticker shock, the dumb money that I spent on it, um, just to have it around. I don't think I'm going to modify the car any. I'm just going to have fun with it. It's a lot to handle the way it sits. So we'll see what I can do with it. I'll probably go put it on the dyno, get some numbers, see if I can get it calibrated or tuned a little tighter to make a few more horsepower. This is the tight spot she's in. She fits. Uh, I keep her covered in here. Um, just wiping her down. I'm gonna go take her out and goof around. Uh, I've had her to the track, did some dismal numbers. I'm trying to get the computer stuff down and I will show you how I use the computer and how I learn to use it to uh, drag race, to better my times. We only have an eighth mile track up here at uh, Barona, but um, I'll be hitting it up in a week. So let's do a walk around of the 2020. It's black. I'm in San Diego. This is the supercharged 392 Hemi. This is the MSRP uh, breakdown of it. The window sticker it shows everything that I uh, got. I just walked onto the showroom floor. I didn't order this. It's got what it's got. Doesn't have the upgraded stereo, doesn't have the uh, moonroof or sunroof or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know what other upgrades there are. I did get the leather, uh, which I like. Um, the Laguna red leather, which is the nice, which my girlfriend didn't like at all. Uh, she didn't want me to buy the car because of it, but I like the contrast of the Laguna red leather package upgrade. Um, that upgrade alone, I believe, was uh, 1,217, there it is, Laguna Leather, right there. Laguna Leather, 1795. Um, the price looks a lot, but it's a lot of car for the money. Um, and uh, Unlike a lot of places up in LA, they were marking these up. They took uh, 10 grand right off the sticker price for me on this one. It was just a little old dealership too, stuck in the corner of the wall, right next to the old uh, stadium they're tearing down right now. Uh, the old Jack Murphy, which became Qualcomm and then something else. I don't know what it was when they tore it down. Uh, we don't have a football team anymore, so I lost interest but they are tearing it down and the dealership sat right up in the little corner of that area down in the valley. This uh, has Nittos all the way around, 315, 40R18s, Brembo brakes. They don't have the big six piston caliper honkers that the uh, regular Red Eye has. This is the Laguna Leather. You can see my uh, GoPro 360 in there. I don't think it's going to stay. I already hit the gas a couple times and it flops back. I'm going to find out how to mount that so it doesn't uh, move all over the place. Okay, enough of this uh, walking around and stuff. Let's uh, burn some tires, have some fun. That's what I bought it for. I didn't, bought it to, didn't buy it to uh, keep it in the garage. I bought it to drag race, burn rubber, do donuts, whip that tail out. Let's go see what it does.
first time running Verona 8th mile in the super stock Dodge Challenger. Are you nervous? A little bit. I don't know how to drive it. <laughs> I've never driven this down a track. I've only got a thousand miles on it. I've barely driven it at all. But I'm excited. Excited to learn how to do it.